Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you also want to have double 100 like I have on my stats, well then this video is perfect for you. Because I have a few ways you can get armor with high stats in Beyond Light. Now the stat distribution part comes down to a personal preference, whether your playstyle is more PvE oriented or PvP. If you are a PvE player, you'd be looking to go for stats that are either recovery, discipline, intellect or even strength. But if you're a PvP player, you'd be looking to go for mobility, recovery, and even resilience since the introduction of stasis so you can survive the shadow drive from hunters for a few more seconds. But guys, before we get into the best ways to get high stat rolled armor, I just want to say that a lot of you guys watching my videos are not subscribed to my channel. So it would mean a lot to me if you click that subscribe button down below and like this video because I'm still trying to hit that. 1k goal maybe before the end of this month. So anyway, let's get right into the video. Number 1. The Wrathborn Hunts. Cryptolith lure which you can find in your quest tab is part of the season of the hunt. And from there you can select which armor item you want to get from the end of the activity. But what makes this so good is that you can also select which stat should the armor drop with, which makes doing Wrathborn Hunts Probably the easiest way to farm for stat specific armor rolls each week. Number 2. The Empire Hunts. Empire Hunts are the newly introduced PvE activity with Beyond Light, and doing them on higher levels of difficulty, especially Legend and Master, is not only the best way to get armor with high rolls, but also a good farm for enhancement prisms, which you're going to need to master work your gear later on. And also, the armor that drops from Empire Hunts lasts an entire year. So if you can get a group of two people running with you, I believe you can finish an Empire Hunt on higher difficulties in less than 10 minutes or so. Number 3. Prophecy Dungeon Prophecy Dungeon is my personal favorite method for farming high stat armor. A lot of people don't know this, but since it's reintroduction and beyond light, once you finish it for the weekly pinnacle, you can actually keep replaying it and farming the encounters for non-powerful but high stat armor rolls. If you can't get a group running for this, then this dungeon is pretty easily soloable with the amounts of builds we have now. If you want my build for Warlock's Guide, then you should check it out by clicking on the top right of the video. Number 4. Vendor Refreshes Every week with the reset, you should make it a priority to check out what the vendors are offering. Just to give you an example, a few weeks ago, Devrim from EDZ was offering this roll, and it was quite possibly the best roll we have ever got from a vendor. So it's always a good thing to look out for what they have to offer. And with that guys, the video is coming to an end. I just want to mention one more time that if you guys like this video and it helped you, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Destiny 2 related content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.